locked in. Yep. And, uh, I mean, so if we're looking at these team compositions right now, MVP's team comp, it, it does have a lot of late game potency, Jin and Beast, because then it becomes pretty difficult to uh, eat him away from the arrows, the hooks, the plays, and the box. Okay, well, there's the plays being made in the mid lane. Ian Force goes to flash. The cocoon will miss. It is actually the turnaround kill from Ian. Now Songwon's going to go down. It's a double for Ian. MVP off to a colossal start. And he and Song you want to scale up, but. That's a little bit weird because you're giving Jin and Malzahar free scaling and that's not something that you want. Oh boy, this is not gonna look good with the turnaround with the suppression. Linderang trying to escape, but he's silenced to death. Ian roaming top lane in the nick of time for some pretty terrible stats, but so Oh far. man, Max gonna have to pop that Grey Health a little bit ahead of schedule, trying to find something, but the flank's coming in from around behind the turret. Ed and Beyond, they're both there trying to find something. Can they do it? A nice push backwards. The committal of Maha with one kill. Can they find a second? They will. It's a double for the MVP 80 carry. They're continuing to go through, but that's Linderang able to turn a great kill right back around. The next Take one, which they're deeming useless for themselves and also probably useless for MVP. So what they're trying to do is fork MVP into taking the bottom tier one turret and then not really having anything clear cut to do. Well, Ed actually using his ultimate to knock the minions away. So Snowflower is the one to take aggro. He drops it, gives it over to Elise who will repel the drop it again. A perfect kill there, which will go reset. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, okay, I'm a little surprised. Uh -oh. All right, how about that reset? That's the cast of curse hard at work. That's gonna be a kill on the Lindering. You can't catch me still, so I can always get people to safety. Yep, and whoa, okay, well, okay, let's, no, the save, it's coming in, it's real. Max able to save Ian from almost an uncertain, untimely demise. Ed equally incredibly escaping there with his life, beyond trying to run away as well. The Freaks in hot pursuit, the hook lands. On to beyond. He is out of there. Now it's Ed's turn to try to escape once again, this time less miraculously. And he's the next to fall. Yeah, and I, I really just question what is Maha doing during all of this, or why are Rika going for a very sneaky Baron? And that gets snipped out immediately. I mean, they're going to be able to deal a lot of damage to it down below half HP. They're going to commit to this, and this they're not all making this out alive. Where's the Baron going? It's taken by Song Hwan. Immediate flashes over the wall for the disengage. Song Yoon does go down, so does Linderong, but three members of the Freaks survive alive with a Baron buff. Or will they? There's Max hunting, sniffing, beyond going behind. Enemy lines there, Song Hwan missing the cocoon. There's Mickey to try to save something. Repel to keep him alive for a little bit longer, Song one lives! Just barely. Now Beyond maybe in a little bit of trouble. Turn around and Beyond will stay alive for at least the time being. The farther you travel, be the more damage it deals. Well, there's the pick on to Beyond. One pick, one catch into another. Beyond trying to survive. He's doing a pretty good job. Another play pulls him right back in, but he's still in there. No, Snowflower ends his life with another sick grab. There's Max for the save. Will he get caught out next? He will, but there's the QSS to keep him in it. That's Mickey overextending. He's going to go down. Song one very low. Can he survive once again? The slow from the tongue lash coming out. Song Yu will drop from the left Visions. It resets there on a Snowflower. Continuing to slow it with the Rylize. More kills coming their way as Maha secures Song Wan's death. Now, Snowflower, you're not making it out of here alive. Tries to hook, tries to play, but it's not his day. Maha with a double. Yeah, and uh, that is the opposite of what is good for a free. Loved it. Came together as a team, and now, well, they have to do that on an entirely different level. They're ahead, but can they secure this Baron? It's down to half HP, knocking Song Wan back, but he's going to get landed right back in. This Baron is under a lot of pressure. Linderang, though, goes down. It's Ed to take him out. The Baron's still going lower and lower. Song Wan trying to get in, but he can't. And in the end, it's Maha. It'll take that Baron out, but the turnaround might be real here as MVP are very low HP. Slowflower very low there. Mickey will get knocked backwards. He's trying to turn this one around, but it's a huge hole there for Maha. Oh my gosh, turning that into a five. Here we go, trying to get a nice teleport catch on the Ian. An immediate flash 
completely countering it out. And now maybe a turnaround to punishment here. Yin coming around the wall, silence there on to Mickey. He ends Fong Fon. Might be in a little bit of a rough spot, but it's Max and Maha continuing to go forward. Maha down to half health. The damage going there on to Maha. Look at that shit out. So much damage. Snowflower flashing away. Where's the last hit? Gonna give it over to Ed. Of course, on the bottom half of the map, it's Ian to help out with more kills. It's a double for him. And with deaths coming in, this is going to be the win for MVP. They won game one. They're crushing game number two. That will be the number of... Okay, well, they're going to take out more kills before they go. There's the Dust Blade of Drakthar to finalize yet another kill there. Maha crushing it down there at the end, much like the Nexus. It'll be a 21-9 victory for MVP and a 2-0 over the Afrika Freaks to punch their way to the quarterfinals. Yeah, and uh, I mean, MVP, I was...